Hey guys, so, uh, I just got done watching it, um, episode 1 of Dead Man Wonderland. The new, uh, series is gonna be called Anime Shocklist. But we're gonna start with Dead Man Wonderland, episode 1. Now, just a rough overview, the focus of the series is on a prison, uh, a private prison carnival-based thing called Dead Man Wonderland. Is actually the name of the prison. And... There's an expo in episode 1 that goes over what it's all about. But to summarize, uh, think of it like Six Flags, but with prisoners. So, the big focus of the series is on a main character you're introduced to relatively quickly in the series, within the first minute or so, called Gante Igarashi. And you kind of get filler till about two minutes and twenty seconds into the main, into the very first episode. In which case, you're introduced to the fir to the re really main antagonist, uh, which you end up coming across the name of the main antagonist right around um, a little bit after ten minutes and seventeen seconds. And the main character, the main antagonist, goes by Wretched Egg. You'll get more information of that as you go further into the series. But, I have all of a, I have like a rough overview right here. Um, so, it's a, it's a really good app show. I don't recommend watching it if you're squeamish. It does get a, it gets really gory, and it does have points where even I get a little bit. Really like it. I don't know. Parts of it make me uncomfortable. And I tend to have a pretty good uh, resolve on anime. Um, so, by, by the three minute mark, you get a mass murder. Uh, Wretched Egg comes in, he kill. he floats down to the third floor from the roof of a middle school and slaughters everyone except your main character, Gante Garashi. All of Gante's classmates. His crush. Um, it's really, it's really big gore. You get a severed head around the four-minute mark uh, of Ganta's crush. Uh, the plot point comes at about four minutes and twenty seconds, where Wretched Egg kind of hits Ganta with some kind of beam. It looks like gem beam thing. Um, the you then get flash forward to Ganta recovering in a hospital, and the police come and arrest him. Uh, he gets railroaded in court. Um, the bad idea for the episode is, he takes a current appointed attorney. Um, you get further plot info about what's going on, how this all happened, the story of Ganta, well, not really his story, you get that later on in the series. Um, he then gets capital punishment brought down upon him, uh, he starts freaking out in court, busts away from the detention officers, and a bunch of parents shit stomp his ass. Like, they tackle him and start beating the living sh out of him. The girl that he likes, her father drops his phone, which shows tailored footage of him confessing and acting like a psychopathic bitch to his lawyer. Um, and, and that's where we find out uh, that we get shit lawyer with special interest. Um, more on that later. A major character is introduced around the 10 minute and 17 second mark. Uh, she goes by Shiro. Um, there's major information that's later on in the episodes. Uh, more expo. This is mostly big expo episode. Um, and then you get to actually see Dead Man Wonderland. Um, and you get introduced to the hot ass warden. And you get probably the only joke in the whole episode is a prisoner asking how big the warden, the female warden's breasts are. And she says, G. Nonchalantly, her hand on a sword, she's like, they're G cap. Nonchalant about it. Um, you get introduced to a thief and a side character to the main character and um, the other major character that was introduced around 10 minutes and 17 seconds at 12 minutes and 40 seconds and you get a brutal display she literally takes out the warden takes out her sword 
and slashes him with a bunch of blood just spraying all over the place because he bumped into Ganta and stole something from Ganta. Uh, the lawyer is later revealed to be the war, uh, the CEO or something of this prison as he's talking to the warden and talking to her like he's her boss. Um, so that's a special interest. He wants money. Uh, Ganta is revealed to be prisoner in five, uh, 5580. 5580. Um, more expo. Uh, it is interesting to show that uh, they put a person who's been convicted of mass murder out as a work labor detail. Uh, and there is a fight in there. It's a really short one. More expo with a flashback. Um, a major character is introduced at. Uh, oh, that's where you reveal the name of the major character. At 10 minutes and 17 seconds, you find out that the major character I mentioned before. Uh, the major character that I mentioned at 10 minutes and 17 seconds is Shiro. Uh, you get introduced to three jerk prisoners who promptly... Uh, one of them gets his ass kicked by Shiro. She, like, straight up does some martial arts shit, kicks his fucking ass. Badass. Um... But ultimately gets taken out by a shovel to the back of the head, as we all would. Um, there's a bunch of ass kicking going on. Um, more expo. You find out who Wretched. It. You find out who the guy was, the red man that Ganta mentioned killed his classmates. Who was the guy who did it? It's called Wretched Egg. Uh, there's an explosion that almost kills Ganta, Shiro, and the three prisoners. It ends up only killing the three prisoners. Um, the character's focus becomes obvious in this point, because he gets worked up saying, I'm not going to die here, I'm going to survive, I'm going to find the man who did this to my friends, and I'm going to kick his ass, and I'm going to clear my name because I'm innocent, I don't deserve this shit, I'm, I'm a middle schooler. Uh, you get to see the brutal death penalty that comes on in this series. They're fitted with a tracking collar, and... Um, if they don't eat candy every, I think it's three days, uh, which the candy apparently tastes like shit, go figure, uh, you will die. And it's it's a pretty brutal death penalty. And then you get ending in a info. I just summarized a 25-minute episode into uh, seven minutes. I really like Dead Man Wonderland. It's a really good series. Uh, it's short. Condensed. I mean, it's 12 episodes. You can binge that out in really quick time. Uh, I like it. It has a bunch of plot twists, a bunch of curveballs. Um, it's really action. Like, I mean, in most of this, you've got violence or focusing on prior violence. You know, you don't have dead areas where it's just filler. Most of this is straight line, straight to the end. Um, of course I will review the OVA when it comes, when I get around to finishing the series, so you guys know what the OVA is, uh, of course, we have yet to be introduced to some of the more, uh, some of the characters that I like, um, so if you guys enjoy this anime shock list, let me know. I love the series, I love all the info, I love the, I will recommend Dead Man Wonderland all day long, twice on Sunday. In fact, I'll tell you to watch it all day Sunday. Sunday. So I hope you guys enjoy. I love the series, and I love just how it's done. So, after Dead Man Wonderland, if you guys want to leave a suggestion of, uh, yeah, I don't know, Hunter x Hunter, um, Full Metal Alchemist, um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, even BBZ if you want. If you guys want that to be the next anime shock list, let me know. Uh, so, I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Um, or down in the comments, tell me what you thought. Uh, and tell me. Tell me. Who is your favorite character in Dead Man Wonderland?